are at uh, Qualcomm HQ and we're finding out about a brand new LTE modem. So why don't you tell us what this demonstration is all about? Sure, this is our uh, latest and greatest actually LTE modem. That's the third um, uh, generation of our Gigabit LTE, that's the X24. It represents several firsts in the industry. So it's the first LTE Cat20 uh, modem that supports a blazing speed of two gigabit per second, as you can see here. Right, and this is live, this is actually happening. This is here. live, yeah, everything's live. Yeah, exactly, right. that's, uh, that's a prototype that we have used for our internal testing, but it's hooked up to a base station okay. that we're doing actual testing. So this pretty is- pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, it's also the first seven nanometer chip ever in the industry. Okay. So. Uh, and this is actually uh, the seven nanometer. It's um, th that's the most um, um, advanced technology in the silicon processing uh, yep. in today's market. Uh, this will provide uh, a lot of benefits to um, uh, OEMs, and in terms of uh, uh, board space, they can actually fit in like right. a larger battery size or maybe a sleeker design. Uh, also, this is the first uh, chip. Uh, that supports uh, seven cater aggregation. This is very, right. uh, very, uh, very big uh, and uh, significant feature. Uh, so it first, it's enable us to support the, those kind of a speed, but at the same time, it adds a lot of flexibility for operators. Okay. Um, so some operators they may have, um, uh, they may not able actually with the current spectrum holding that they have, they cannot actually aggregate enough uh, in order to get into giga speed. Now with uh, Snapdragon okay. X24. We're able to the tools to work with. Egg. And um, you know, we're here um, at, at the Qualcomm HQ on a 5G day. Yes. We've been talking about 5G. So why, when we're talking about 5G, are we at the same time uh, launching a new LTE, a 4G modem? Oh, actually, this is go um, hand in hand with the 5G. This is very important for the 5G. And the reason is um, uh, LTE and 5G will coexist together. And you really need a very high speed coverage layer for the 5G in order when you actually fall back from the 5G. We're talking about five gigabit per second in the 5G. When you want to fall back, you want to fall back into a comparable speed. And with the X24, um, the Snapdragon X24, actually, we're providing two gigabit per second. This is a good speed, actually, yeah. to to provide that for you. Yeah, so that's, I think that's a critical thing that, that 5G and 4G are going to go coexist. Yeah. 5G will typically kick in in very sort of dense, very sort of capa high capacity areas. Exactly. And as you said, you just don't want a big drop off. Exactly. Uh, when you get away from those 5G exactly. areas. Absolutely correct. Exactly. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.